Attack well, by 3.5, HP by 1.35, and boost the chance of landing on matching orbs. Well, you thought, oh, we, didn't we say 10? Oh, oh. oh, oh yeah. yeah. 10, <laughs> 10 orbs count as matching. Boost the chance of um, landing on landing 10 orbs. Or and then if, if, like, the, if the full team is tandem, you do like a tandem slasher attack. Yeah, we're bringing back tandem attacks. I don't we're give bringing a fuck. back tandem attacks. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to episode four of Good Great Perfect. Uh, I'm here, Captain Papi. What's doing? My voice is a little bit raspy. I've been out clubbing festivals for four days. What's popping? I got my man, Cobby. What's going on, fellas? I got my man, Dilba. What's going on? I was so not ready for that. <laughs> and I got my man, Joba. What's up? How's it going? Let's go. All right, so no nightmare once again because that boy is still <laughs> in uh, some sort of land of the unknown. He's amongst <laughs> the Shadow Realm for all we know. Um, and no Todd today, unfortunately. The man's busy getting through life, unfortunately. So, no, so you're going you're gonna to have to deal with the four of us, the four clowns. <laughs> we ain't got no clout. We ain't got nothing. But we've got a pretty, pretty good episode today. Uh, I just want to start off by saying... What, after what happened last week, I'm pretty sure we have a little bit of clout. Oh, yeah, we got... Okay, let him know. Let him know. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, we will get to that indeed. We are famous now. We we big time. We big time. We don't need no totes anymore. No, nope, they didn't <laughs> but, even... Go for it, They didn't mate. even mention him. Yeah, when we yeah got they the, did not. Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, they did at the start, though, which sucks. Yeah. But anyway... So today, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching on uh, watching the videos, listening to all the podcasts. I just want to reiterate that we are on YouTube, we are on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Podcast, Radio Public. We are available everywhere. So you Bruh, have multiple I didn't places. Even know that. <laughs> <laughs> we have you have multiple places to listen to the podcast. Uh, I also want to start off with a little statistic: sixty five percent of the people that watch the podcast on YouTube aren't subscribed. So make sure you actually subscribe what to the are you channel. Doing? <laughs> we greatly <laughs> would appreciate it if you guys do subscribe. Just uh, press the right button. There. It's right there. <laughs> On that note, uh, shout out to everyone. We're at 300 subscribers now, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, and we're, we're averaging like 1.8 thousand views a video. And we're also getting like 120 listeners on uh, Anchor per episode on average. So that's going crazy. Um, we do want to start off by... Uh, Showing our thanks as well to Zinagami. He's been part of the OBTZ community for five, five and a half years now. He's put in a lot of work, um, oh. creating content, creating teams, and helping a lot of people out on JP's yeah. side. Oh, I'm just going to say, love him or hate him, everyone has watched his videos at least once, and he, he does he did provide, uh, provide quality co content, especially for those people who would like to remain free to play. So, yeah, that's just a big shout-out, and thank you for helping out um, all, of, all of us and just the whole community for... At one stage or another, we needed a team, and we were scraping the bottom of the barrel, so we needed free to play teams. <laughs> oh, true yeah, that. True. Like, like, like as you said, like even for, like any content. Like I remember running Raid of Anka free to play with uh, with his teams mm. when I had nothing else. And like like you said, like uh, love him or hate him, he he had a huge impact on the community. Yeah. The OG man, the OG. That's it. No, so we really appreciate Zingami's work, and thank you all for that five and a half years of work you put in. And you know, take your break, enjoy it. Hopefully, you find. If you find success in your further endeavors. Nevertheless, today's episode, we're going to go through a few things. Uh, we're going to start off with the global news, talk about the Slasher event, talk about the Linlin Lin Pudding Suga Fest, and we'll discuss Treasure Map Weeble in terms of the unit itself and the actual Treasure Map. Uh, on the JP side, it's kind of, kind of uh, small. We're going to just talk about uh, TM Hawkins, the unit as well. And then the bulk for the episode, we'll be talking about the Bandai live stream. And then we're going to go on to a viewer question that actually came in from Anchor FM that someone recorded. We really appreciate it. Um, Cobby so is super excited for this. Cobby yeah, is very... Yeah, please, please keep sending him in, guys. Like, really, your feedback on, you know, the episode, you guys, we want you guys to be a part of it as well. So it means a lot. We really do. Uh, so we, we do appreciate that. And keep those questions coming in. Don't just wait for me to tweet out... Um, you know, ask the questions. Let's just add us at GGP Podcast. Uh, and ask us questions. Yeah, ask us about anything. Ask us anything. About anything. Doesn't it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be OBTC related. What's going on? Now, we've we've seen, seen, we're all I've old men. Ask. I've seen several people ask on Discord like where they can send questions in, and I, I, I actually didn't know what to tell them like, if they have to reply to that. 
question thread. No, like just send us a tweet. Just send us a tweet at any send time. Tweet. Then send us on our, even even on our like our actual accounts on Twitter as well. They're all linked in the description. Send us tweets there as well. We're more than happy. We'll pass them on to the group and we'll add them to the to the list. Our list is very small right now. So we want Make to kind sure of to expand follow that. us on Twitter as well. Okay, yeah, let them know. We did hit 100, <laughs> we did 100 followers on Twitter. Shout out to Chris from the from the Bandai team for being our 100th follower on Twitter as well. Hey, that's yeah. right. I didn't even know he was our 100th. <laughs> yeah, so we appreciate that, Chris. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, global side. Black Blade Slasher event. What are we feeling? What are our thoughts and opinions? Um, let's take the reins. Dilbert, go I'll, for I'll it. I'll take it. I, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Like it, I, I like the way they did it, how Ernest. Okay, because... Dilba is dying. We need we need to shoot Dilba. Shut I'm now. dying. Oh Dilba. no, Dilba. Dilba, no. Okay, let's <laughs> no. All right, try to run it back. Try it okay. again. Try it again. <laughs> I, I was just saying I really liked it because the, I liked the format they did it. It was like um, you, you, the amount of swords you dropped rather than yeah, the amount of runs that you yeah. did. Because if you think about it, like in past events, it's like oh, I have to do fifty runs to get this red poster. I really can't be bothered, and, and like it's a, it's usually the last day where it comes out. And you're like, oh, okay, I've got like 20 more runs to do. Let's just grind it out yeah. real quick. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think I really enjoyed it, and it was, it was pretty easy for the most part. Yeah, 100. Yeah, percent I I good. think it was a good idea. I like obviously we knew we knew from JP that it was gonna be based on the sword collection, but I feel like this kind of content is a positive step in the sense that. Hopefully, we see a lot more of this collection-based content in terms of whether it be like collecting a specific unit that drops X amount of times, or uh, collecting like you know uh, we had like the the desserts from that one from uh, the summer event. We have the swords now, things like that. Where instead of having you do fifty runs, like you said, it's actually more related to your collections like that. So you could finish it really early. It could take you a little longer, but nevertheless, it- it's good. It's definitely better than having, and I mean, especially for the average player as well. I mean, we, for the most part, are probably happy to sit down and farm for 10 hours or however long it's going to take. But if you've only got like an hour to dedicate to the game or half an hour a day, it's definitely much more accessible for those types of players. It was an easy red, and uh, I think it was three golds, right? It was really easy to get. And uh, I I don't know about you guys, but mine were all like pre-second any units. But I, I, I appreciate the thought. You know, yeah, wasn't... I think yeah, my, I think no, I got one um, I got one Hyozo, and then my red was like Blackbeard. So, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I just now um, did the zero stamina difficulty, which you know, installing those ninety nine yeah, so was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> oh, I used to, I used yeah, uh, so... Todd's team. <laughs> yeah, shout out Todd, shout out Toski, man. You know, he's pretty good oh, at the I, game. In Zini's spirit, I used his team, which did stall out the ninety nine. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's a crazy that's crazy yeah, man. dedication but nevertheless good event i think i think it's a good step uh do you do you guys want to see more of these kinds of events or are we yeah uh, absolutely how do you guys feel? yeah, yeah sure. i, I reckon yeah, these kind of events were, were good and it like it's yeah exactly it didn't take up an absurd amount of time but you still had to dedicate a decent chunk of your day or a couple of days farming it which was cool and like i say if you like it was pretty easy, but it was even easier if you did manage to get lucky and pull the newest legends and stuff. So, for sure, seeing fifty was... runs in the Chopper Man missions is just so daunting. Like you said, yeah, yeah. I also want to uh, mention that, uh, like, a thing that actually, like, I was thinking about in terms of talking for this topic was, um, the fact that we received like, I think was it like eight slot bind, eight pinch heal, and like was one more tablet, was it? Like we received uh, oh, slot bind, pinch heal, and um, what's it called? It's like um, I can't, I can't remember the last one. <laughs> I, I think it was heal, heal recovery. Yeah. Heal recovery. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the fact that we like that's a good way of giving out tablets that isn't excessive. Yeah, um, I feel yeah. like in terms of like sticking like eight tablets, it's, it's eight to like a, in theory, it's a, it's a substantial number for getting tablets. Like you might not get a single skill up from eight. However. So getting eight tablets for clearing a raid like like X amount of times is the like funny is, beneficial. Like, yeah, and the funny thing is that's like almost as much as some people get from like treasure. Like, tre- a lot of the time it is. Like a lot of people that aren't running treasure mode aren't getting tablets at all. But like know? we go for, like we go for top like I'm guessing like all of us go for top five hundred, yeah? Because I know well, I always can. Do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well I always try to go for top five hundred and what that's ten tablets. Yeah, exactly. That's only ten tablets. So that's, that's four like- days. That's four days of work of like ten hours of grinding a day. You know, like that's a lot of effort. Whereas, like, you can run this raid, get like eight tablets of three kinds, and 
use them. And okay, if none of them hit, like that sucks, but that's tablet luck. But just the fact that we're like, it's a, it's a method of getting tablets. Like, I feel like this should be implemented more in more pieces of content in terms of new raids or returning raids or Coliseums, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Through, um... So you think they should be doing like more zero stamina for events that come out? Yeah, I think so. I think like, I think it's cool. And like we see that from but, Japan as well. Um, yeah. All but, the zero stamina islands too. Yeah. You can also see like, the, like I've seen a lot of people like play, especially the free to play players complaining about these zero stamina making them too difficult unless you pull the newest characters or using a zombie team because everyone's sick of using zombie teams because they're literally all the same. So, yeah, it, it, uh, for us, yeah, it's fine because usually we can beat it with either the newest characters that we have or we're, we just have no issues stalling out, like what Joe said, 99 turns for a debuff. So, yeah, I haven't uh, had to do that in a long time, though. Yeah, neither. I, personally, I hate doing that. So that's why I always try and use the most recent <laughs> stuff, like which yeah. is, yeah, very, very whale mentality. But yeah, that's it's, the point, I guess. Yeah, exactly. The, the, whole, the whole, I guess the whole game, the game in a nutshell is basically power creep and pay to win. Well, like that's what OBTC has turned into. It's kind of just like Neil's badge clears the Neil's content. Like, yeah, it's that, which, which that's is the sad, cycle. which is sad, but like it's how, it's how the, they make how it's just how the the gacha games just work in, in general. Yeah, exactly. That's how gacha games make money. Like if if you have content that's clearable by very old units, then there's no need to be spending money on the it. game. You know, yeah. so it's good to see that. I guess you know, like there's a there's a like a reason to be pulling these new units, even as bad as people make it out to be. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I know a few of you pulled on the pudding and Linlin Suga Fest. You guys want to tell me? I think how no, it went. <laughs> oh, you didn't pull it. You know, I'm not buying it. Not. Am I the only pulled? I think you did. Um. So yeah, my first two multis was on the part one, and it was absolutely terrible. Like the units I got weren't even like good for. Uh, like limit break stuff, so I was kind of disappointed in that. But my second day was really, really good. I, I pulled saw that Twitter video. Yeah, so that was my <laughs> second multi. So my first multi had like, what, like two, two heroes, four kakus, and Jesus. that's it. So I got really, really lucky in that. And my second multi had two reds. Um, first red was on the first poster, which I for, which whatever is it cut it cut out the first half yeah, of that multi, dude. but it was Lucy. Even though Damn. I've got him rainbowed and everything, it, that would still be a good unit for. Anybody, to anyone, pull. yeah. And then Bartow Cav in the mid, in the mid of it. So that, that was really that was cool. crazy. Like, that's with, wild. With some half decent, like, like normal rare recruits thrown in. So my second day was easily so much better. But I I'd still wouldn't recommend if like if you're safe, if you don't have the if you're not a pay to play player, mm. um, I would not don't recommend pull. pulling on the pseudo. Don't it's pull. not don't. worth it. Even if you are a pay to play player, don't clown. It's this. This yeah. is a certified clown glue eater pseudo first. <laughs> Thanks, <It> Bobby. <laughs> I'm having to really hold myself back from pulling and just. You're a wife who collected though. It's different. Yeah, it's it's really hard. I have to <laughs> not be a dangerous road, man. <laughs> I just don't have the money anymore to support that lifestyle. I have to hold back. You know. <laughs> it's you, gotta save up gems. you gotta save up gems for the real waifus, which are exactly. coming probably next That's summer. That's it. That let him know. Be, <laughs> the waifu batter. But no, you, you should be saving your gems. There's a lot, a lot of good stuff coming up very, very soon. A lot right of two times corner. red Sugo Fest as well. Like, yeah, we got, we got to pull for that. Uh, support Sugo Fest banner, boys. Yeah. Oh, oh. We, we didn't put that in the news. That 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 news just That's came out. We got, we got Struzan support, which is just comp- like what? That's, <laughs> That's in his nuts. What does he do? I don't know what he does. He's, he's, he's awful. What, I don't remember what he does. Uh, I he's, even, oh my he's, God. it's Quinn's dad, but he's Kalina's so dad. good. He's actually really good. Yeah, he's but really, he's really good. Pull. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait until like <laughs> it's. I don't know if they do like an event that got, where they support. Just never that pull a, if, like, you, if you if you pull. Um, this is this is news flash. This is a big <laughs> yeah. PSA right here, boys. PSA right here. If you pull on a support banner, you eat glue. That, like, that's the law. The it's flag. Like, like this. Clag is coming out. It is gross because it's to- too hot. It's too humid in the classroom. You're trying to paste your paper on your book. That's what you eat. It's like and this. the rush is all frayed. He's, <laughs> really, he's really good because he attaches to Raid Zora. And Raid Zora already does a whole... I mean, any Raid Zora is crazy. But, uh, but, but Raid Zora already does a whole bunch of stuff, right? And then he makes it so that you also remove like uh, resilience and some other stuff. So he makes Raid Zora even a, more utility. Yeah. 
but no I don't think we're quite we're, we're not yet at the point where you need a support to do a thing that yeah, like correct. a yeah. sailor can do. Right? You don't, don't need like seven. I don't think things. we'll get to that point either. I mean, inevitably we will, but like I feel no, I can, I can, how I can, people start it. like that's when they'll start introducing like big suitors, like anniversary suitors, and they'll throw like a handful of support, support units in yeah, there as well. Yeah, I, I think that's the right way. I think that's what they'll probably do as well. And, they, and like not the, the whole batch of support units like literally be like oh this is new event these support units will help you out there's his three of them that do something in that vein of abilities well, it's kind of like those pseudo fests where they like chuck in a few limited rare recruits in the back like, yeah the yeah pool. Oh, i could see that happening for sure they'll get um, me when they're in the friend point support oh true. <laughs> they ain't getting me any time before <laughs> that seventh the seventh <laughs> <Annie. laughs> <7-11. laughs> oh Oh, rest in peace. Well, that, no, we don't do it. That's that's forbidden. We don't talk about that. That's, is that is that one of the three taboo subjects? That is that is the third is that, taboo subject. How is that taboo? It's, that's dark ages. That's it's just dark. triggering because I didn't know about it until there was a thread about it on Reddit about it being gone. So <laughs> I got a, I got a phone call from Kobe in the middle of the night and said, "Hey, can you... <laughs> <laughs> I, I got that news on lock, my guy. <laughs> this boy got the juice. He got the squeeze." <laughs> and last thing on global side, TM Weevil is approaching. Um, just to go through TM Weevil as a unit, he's very good. But I he's pe- his very captain, uh, his captain ability boost attack of slasher character proportionally to the crew's current HP by three point two five and max, and their HP by one point three five. That's like max HP. They had three point two five boost, but he's special though. Reduces attack down duration by twenty turns, and then adds three hundred. Wow. 300 times the character's attack as typeless damage to his own to the own character's attack for two turns. If enemies have all b- debuff protector or delay debuff protector at the time the special is activated, boost attack of all characters by two times. That's so universal, actually, universal that's two nice. times attack, 20 turn attack down, 300 times additional damage. He does I it all. I think his, uh, his, like, his raid Sabo thing that he does, it's like, I think it's like 800,000. So it's really kind of like. Uh, just and he's on a 14 turn that. cooldown. We like max max cooldown with limit broke. Like, and his uh, potentials are crit, uh, and da- and reduce no healing duration. Yeah, something like that. I Does can't he have support? Him. Yeah. Does he have uh, support? Once per adventure, when you reach the final stage, that's 120 times supporting characters' attack as additional damage to the. That's crazy. Character. That's it's such a good support. Time. Who does he? Who does he attach to? His mom. I think uh, doesn't oh, slasher characters. Oh, oh my yeah, god! Which is <laughs> like He's Slashers has some crazy good supporter characters they that do. aren't supporters. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you're thinking, I don't want to farm Tim Weevil, blah, blah blah blah, you farm Tim Weevil. This is the one. This is one of the TMs that like it's a like certified glue eater. If you don't, nice farm. Yeah, yeah. it's very similar to like people who didn't farm NL or people who didn't farm uh, Jack or Luffy. When... Oh, the people who didn't farm Jack. What are you Jack? doing? Oh man. Oh, see, I don't use Jack as much as most people do, though. There were all those treasure map teams. They're like, oh, I don't have a unit. How do I replace Jack? You don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, he's good. That's it. I've used him in a lot of like Fortnite speedruns, but he's a very he's very speedrun useful for sure. I, I guess like <laughs> I, I don't really use his cooldown is too low or too yeah. high. I mean, I don't use mm. Jack because I've been using Jack as a captain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, yeah true, got Legend true. Jack. True. Yeah, <laughs> it was the Legend Jack yeah. crew. It was one of the guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that's that's all the global news. Um, all right, on to on to Japan. So the main thing that's coming out of Japan is uh, Tim Hawkins is coming out. I will read Tim Hawkins right now. He is not good. <laughs> <laughs> his oh, art, his art is fire. That's it's legend T art. Both his capability and good. special just say, "I'm not good. Don't bother." <laughs> I don't know. His captain ability is actually like pretty. Like he's better than a lot it's of old. It's standard. Ones. Yeah. So it's yeah. boost attack of striker and cerebral characters by three point two five times, and makes quick always beneficial for cerebral strike characters. It's good. Like if for TM as a captain in TM, it's like it's three point two five is is good. It's fine. Uh, he's special, however. Uh, so it's two stages. Uh, so stage one is changes uh, changes adjacent orbs into matching and delays all enemies for one turn. Excuse me. And his uh, stage two is changes adjacent orbs into matching. If the HP of the enemy with the highest max HP is below 70% at the time the special is activated, ignores delay debuff protection, delays all enemies for one turn, delays all enemies for one turn otherwise. Why are we still writing essays? 
Why are we still writing essays for special effects, my guy? It's yeah, too long. That. It's too long. It's just so and it's trash. For, a, for a TM it's unit. It's so I mean, bad, man. The it last time we trash. saw something like this, I think it was like TM Kizaru. It was the last, like, boring. Even with Kizaru is, like, useful, though. Like, you yeah. can use it. He's, yeah. he's one of those units you can just chuck on a team and it gives you an attack boost, is it not? Yeah, I uh, guess. He's, he's good in TM so. sometimes. Yeah, like, I, I think it, it's yeah. it's for whatever type is most common on your team, I think. Okay, yeah. well, like, even though, like, it's still, like, he's actually, like, if you need a unit on a team, like, and you have space, like, he's one of those units you can just chuck on and he will, like, he can be useful. This guy is just, like, five years into the game almost and just no... He's a delay. Oh, he's literally he's adjacent yeah. orbs matching. Like, even that alone is just so, like, it's just not useful. We still adjacent doing orbs, that? <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Adjacent orb matching is so useless. It's a very 20, 2017 effect. 100%. And like this whole idea of if the HP of the enemy with the highest max HP is below 70%. So like you have the, your, the boss you're fighting has to be below 70% just to, just to be able to debuff them for one turn. So yeah. not like, debuff, uh, delay them, sorry, for one turn. Like it's, it's nothing. Like you're meant to be using the HP cut and then he's special, but... Ugh. <laughs> We have the I'm HP not. cut, like, it's a lot, though. Like, you know, it's just not worth it. I, I just don't I see just, a reason. What, 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 are we, what are we delaying now these days? Like, really? Yeah, who delays? And put a condition for a delay? Man, just... And, like, if you're meant to be ball. using this with Kaido, like, why are you delaying with Kaido? <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> right. He does not need delay. That boy's running through everything. <laughs> Kaido is way too powerful. That's for but sure. that artwork's clean. That artwork's very good. Artwork's give, me, fire. give me more of that good artwork. That's crazy. Sure. A lot of us always discuss like potential upcoming legends, you know, and a lot of a lot of people have said Hawkins because of that moment in Wano that's really badass where he's chasing Luffy and Zoro. And he has got the big old the straw guy that comes out and it looks really badass. And this is the art. This is the art that should And then they fucked him over Hawkins. and did that. <laughs> it made him a TM unit and he was just shit. Him... Like, like it's okay to be a, like, t like TM units can like a good. But when they when they make him uh, adjacent orbs matching and delay, it's just like that's not okay for Ash the current Ashley. meta. <laughs> yeah, actually, this ain't real shit. This is sleep like, boy. Consider how much they milk, like how much they've milked uh, Marine Ford and Dress Rosa for units and legends. You know, oh, they've gone yeah. back to it and done like one of those. This. One was going to be this, but they 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 missed the chance to do it with Hawkins. They missed the chance to make Hawkins doing. good from the start. Maybe yeah. we'll revisit it down the line, but yeah, it's a bit yeah. it's a bit of a shame. Okay, here's a question. Let's keep the current special intact. How would you alter it to make it better? But but don't go too like crazy. Like just subtly alter it to make it better. Let me pull him up on the I think I think academy. if he if he was a conditional boost, it'd already be a lot better. If he proc'd his own conditional boost. Yes, absolutely. Cause like, you know, if, if it wasn't delayed, then it'd be better. But like, if it was a delay conditional boost, right? And you had an HP cut of thirty percent, so you use an HP cut, and then you delay get delay boost. Like you could, already, he has a lot better of a of a ability. Hundred percent. If if anything, it'd be like I'd like a bit of like yeah, he he cut HP right, and then uh, and then like he has like a dual special activation, and then it's like okay, if, if yeah, actually. if um if character has 80% HP or less activate um, the secondary effect. You know what I mean? Just like a uh, yeah, no, I see that. If it, yeah, exactly. If it was like, if it was the HP cut and then it delayed and then, you know, like because you did the HP cut already where it does, yeah, like does a two turn thing. That'd be yeah. a lot better immediately, but it's just not, and it's not good like at all. If they try to go with like a kind of like the, the lore of the character, how he can, like if he gets attacked, then he doesn't take any damage because you know he's he uses the straw ability, and yeah, they could do some kind of thing where if you take damage, the opponent instead takes some damage, something like that. That would be or pretty if cool. You kill, or if you kill an enemy or something like that, like you get immunity from taking damage based on yeah, how many enemies makes... you kill or something like that. Right, that that's a legend Hawkins ability right there. That's I'm what not, I mean. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm definitely be... picking up what you're putting down there, Joba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it, that that'd be really good. But instead, we get a chase and orbs, and we get uh, <laughs> we get delay. We can't be doing adjacent orbs anymore. We got to be better. Yeah, if, if even if like if it was full board, it'd be better because it'd be like more useful as a TM unit. Like his at typing least, striker cerebral is actually pretty decent as well. At least a self fulfilling conditional. That would yeah, be hundred percent. If you had, 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 had a yeah, I agree. I totally agree.
But it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, but with old farm them anyway. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Regardless, <laughs> you're gonna farm. You're gonna have to do it. So now let's get on to the bulk of the episode, the Bandai live stream. Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Nick and Chris. You know, bro, when that when they said good, oh. great, perfect, and they said shout out to those guys, I lost my yeah, mind. Yeah, so no, I was like sitting on the insane. couch and I like jumping out of the jumping up okay. and I was like freaking out because I was also like on the phone at the same time. I'm like. I don't know what to do. I can't contain myself. <laughs> I've, I've watched that clips like like ten times. That's so I'm showing all my friends. I'm showing everyone. I'm like, we did it. We made, <laughs> we made it. it. We made it. There's there's like a moment where he pauses. So it's like the world kind of stands still because he's it's it's when he's doing the he's doing like a run of I think it was like Ray up and yeah. he's like yeah I'm just looking at the screen doing good great perfect good great perfect and then no one talks for a second and I'm like oh that's the name of our podcast and then he says it that was insane. Yeah, that's I love that shit. That's not awesome. that. Because I'm, because they, because I'm just focused on doing good, great, perfect, good, great, perfect. Those are stars, and then I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, shout out to the podcast, and then he's like, oh yeah, and shout out to those shout guys. To those guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, like, oh, oh bro. You know what? You could learn a thing or two from those segues there, Puffy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh come <laughs> on. <laughs> that was a that was a hell of a segue from my that man. Was, that, that really was, was. very good. Uh, <laughs> I was in, I was in a call with Boris and Zistens. Oh and man. Then, like, and then it did happen. I was like, yo, I just went so hard. And then Boris was like, what, what, what happened? And we had some, um, someone else clipped it in the call and showed Boris. Boris was like, ah, nice. <laughs> like it felt like, bro, I was like, it's just crazy to think that like, we only have three apps and then we're ready. I actually know who we are. It's like, whoa. I was hey, like, I can't wait to watch that. I was Chris. like, I can't wait to watch that Toad's Key reaction video. He's going to go. Yeah, <laughs> And then they also shout out Rose at the same time, which is also cool. Yeah. Shout out to- shout out Todd as well, which is dope. So like, it just immediately like, I I, I can't hate the, I can't hate the live stream at all. And that was it's just yeah. it's so fulfilling that your work actually is getting recognized, like from the people that are, like have a say or have a, something a hand in the in the game, you know. So yeah, like that's so exciting. It's, it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, I, 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 it, I've lost some words, but. It, <laughs> It's just really awesome to see that we're getting recognition from people who are, yeah, in yeah in the game, like have yeah have a say in the game or have a say in. The, in the it's For really sure. cool that, like you you can tell that um we're getting some recognition, but even with them for recognizing us is really cool. So, and like us, us. Yeah. Like, not just the podcast, but they also it, it, they they pay attention to the community itself. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was that, yeah, that makes a lot. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. I don't think that in the, in the at the time of the first podcast, I was like mad at Bandai all the time, you know, because I didn't have the <laughs> units I wanted. It was it, it was always going on. I didn't have carrots. I was just mad, you know. I I talk shit at the manager all the time. But then he, when this dropped, I was like, there's no way. I can't believe. It. Like they actually, they probably go through the subreddit and stuff. They they listen to our yeah, our do. input. It's. I don't know, this makes it a lot more. Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm happy that they're doing this. It, it it definitely is a much needed change. I mean, yeah. having having faces, recognizable faces, public yep. faces, yep. who we can go to, we know that our feedback is is finally being heard. I mean, this game is so good already. There was these little quality of life things that we needed changed, and you know, we finally have a forum where we can go to to get those things changed. And you have to keep in mind that these guys are community managers. They're not developers. Like I know yeah. developers. Yeah. Were on- Developers were on the were, were on the show. He was there, which is so cool that we that he was flown from Japan. He's one of the developers of the game. He was on the actual live stream, which is amazing to actually see uh, someone who actually makes the game. But like like you said, they are listening. Like we'll go through everything they talked about, but everything like they talked about are uh, things that were spoken about that even Rose talked about in the podcast and talked to us individually about that they wanted as changes you know, in the game. And they're obviously listening. They're obviously understanding. They can't make all the implementations immediately. However, things are slowly, like, quality of life changes are occurring that are quite beneficial. And the thing is, and the, the more information they get from us saying, so we're, we're just saying, oh, yeah, this might need to be, this is, this is working really well. Let's keep going with this. And that somehow gets relayed back to them, whether it be through the podcast, just they go through the Reddit forums and stuff like that and stuff that isn't working. And certainly, like, like, it's not going to happen overnight, but slowly they might keep, they might slowly keep reporting this to their superiors who report it to Bandai and all that stuff. And this is how these slowly this these quality of life changes come into play, like the cotton candy removal and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, yeah it, it might take a while since yeah, it's it, it 
it is coming from a community manager. And But if they keep doing good things like this, the more that they're going to believe them and say, oh, cool, let's jump on this faster this time because th- this was really well received the last time we made a change like yeah. this. And I think it's also beneficial to say, before we jump into the actual live stream, it's also beneficial to say, as much as we all complain, we can't step away from that. We all complain about the game. It's it's inevitable when you're playing any kind of game whatsoever. With RNG especially. Yeah, exactly. As much as we do complain, we have to make sure that as a community, we're also like like speaking aloud the things that we enjoy and the, the, like the good qualities of the game. Because if we, obviously now, like it's so evident that what we're saying is being heard you know, when good things happen, like we just said, like, oh, reward events that are based upon how many things you collect in terms of drops. We like that. We think there should be more tablet drops in raids and stuff. The things that we enjoy, we should be saying more, like at more often now. People are hearing us. It's important. Mm. It's a smart move on their side, Kevin, because it, it keeps us happier, which means that we're honestly, uh, we're more likely to spend more on the game. I, I've, you don't know how many people I've seen that have been like, you know, I really want to pull on the Sugo, but fuck Bandai. I'm not going to spend any money for this because they've mm. fucked me over too many times. But if they keep doing like, I know a lot of people are really happy with like Dragalia because it's a really friendly game. Like they do 100%. shit to the players all the time. And, and this is a good step forward towards that. People like are going to be more willing to spend money on a game that they, you know, that, that treats them well. Yeah. 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 Exactly. All right. Let's get into this. Okay. So the first thing, the first major point was Kizuna Kesen, or probably going to be, I think it's Kizuna Battle, is what the official English name is going to be. Um, I've got a post up from the subreddit from Koala San. So thank you very much for your wiki post on that one. I'm just going to go through it real quick. So Kizuna is, so how to play it. So you use Kizuna Power, which I believe is like the stamina system to challenge the prelim battles. And then you, earn boss coins and then you use those boss coins to challenge the boss and then you obtain treasure exchange tickets and then you use those tickets in the treasure exchange shop to get rewards that's the main gist of it right so uh in order to uh to battle you need to use that kizuna power uh each every two hours you generate one kizuna power so it doesn't work on the stamp system nor can you use gems to refill your stamp or your kizuna power it's just two hours to uh two hours per and you have a total of five i believe um and then you can also get i think it's either from rewards or from Ch- chopper man missions you can get kizuna secret medicine which does uh restore your kizuna power because i'm pretty uh, sure you can't restore your kizuna power with gems can you no no gems no yeah. other methods it's just either the secret medicine or it's just by purely waiting um you can also oh, i just read here which is actually quite interesting uh, you can, there's a prelim, in the prelim battles, you can actually, there's a skip button. So you can skip the battle, get the rewards. These don't count Chop Man missions as in terms of clears. You won't retain berries or pirate XP, but you do clear it. And I believe you get the boss coins from okay. it. So, so it's so, a quick way to skip it. I think they used to have, um, I think they, they used to let you use uh, buggy on the skip, but they'd nerfed that for the previous version. But yeah, go for it, sorry, cop. <laughs> Go for a double, sorry. <laughs> Were you mentioning something? Oh, no, no, no. I was just... Didn't mean to interrupt. I was, yeah, I was just uh, no, you're interested. Right. Um, so then, okay, so you get the boss coins. You verse the boss. So the boss battle. So as we know, the first uh, unit's going to be uh, Zoro Sanji. These boys are crazy powerful. <laughs> crazy strength. So their maximum, uh, their maximum special... At maximum break. So limit breaking these guys, you can't do it in one set. I believe it takes six months to actually get all the limit break materials. And people immediately would have assumed that, okay, in six months, it's going to be like the, the power creep's going to catch them. It's not even close. So these guys deal 100 times the character's attack as type as damage to all enemies. They come Zorus Hunter for three turns. If HP is above 99% at the time the special is activated, Boost attack of slasher and fighter characters by 2.75 times for one turn or two times otherwise. So you immediately get a flat two times boost to slasher and fighter. But if your HP is above 99%, you get 2.75 times attack. Bro, I forgot about that. That's insane. Like, that very, is very so good. strong. You know, cool. like, they're very powerful. And it's not that they're not like ready to use right off the bat. It's just that their cooldown is way too high, I believe, is the issue. I think so, yeah. And even then, like their cooldown drops is 14 turns at max, max like limit break and max uh, spe- uh, cooldown. 
Um, and their swap when uh, when swapped is activated, the character removes all slot bind duration on themselves and changes their own orb to matching. That's good. Perfect. Beautiful. Huh? Very very simple. Um, their limit, they're, even their sailor abilities, man. Uh, boost attack of slasher and fighter by hundred and makes recovery in tandem orbs beneficial for slasher and fighter characters. Jeez. Like these guys are, they're very strong. Even the six months after that, their release, they're still meta. They're, they're still, still incredibly very powerful. Like very, very strong units. <laughs> so you just keep rolling. And uh, so you use the coins you versus the main boss, which is them. Uh, that boss actually, so that boss uh, changes HP every time you defeat it. So it scales upwards. And also, I believe specific batches of levels have different debuffs or something like that as well if i remember correctly so like you always have to remake teams and reevaluate and think about how you're clearing these things but in the case that you can't defeat the boss you can ask for help so there's a transponder stay on the top right and uh you can ask people on your friends list for help so thank god i have lay on my friends list because i'll be always <laughs> asking him for help <laughs> um and yeah. That person can accept that uh, that request for help and then kill the boss for you. They use stam and you use stam. However, you both do receive rewards. Yep. So there is benefit in uh, you actually helping out people that are requesting help because you do get rewards as well. And it's great and to you... have another way that we can interact with people interact, on our list now. It's, uh, it's uh, something that I think was a little overdue and I'd like to see a lot more of it if I'm Yes. Can you accept uh, an infinite amount of requests to help? I think it's based upon your stam still. So when you accept a request to help, uh, it uses a, like one piece of stam. But so like, like you can only do it like five times or something. Right? Well, I mean, like it, you're obviously like immediately you're gated by that five gauge. But I think uh, like as long as you have stam, you can, uh, yeah. you can you can help people. I'm fair, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So the main draw of this, uh, which is probably something that we'll discuss a little bit as well, is the treasure list. So I believe from the preliminary ones, like six months ago, there are seven tiers or like, so like it, uh, you get better and better stuff. The, the tickets you get are exchanged for these tiers. Uh, there, there's only a limited amount of items or limited amount of drops uh, in uh, particular items. So like, let's say you can get 10, you can get 10 uh, 100K belly bags. And then once you get those 10, you can no longer get that reward as a, as a drop. So in the case that that occurs, you can reset the treasure list. So you can continue farming. Okay, let's say I've got all the tablets this time. From like I got really lucky, got all the tablets early. I can reset now and then use those tickets to go again. So this is this was when it first dropped, a fantastic way to get, um, to get tablets. People, you could get a lot of tablets from this event, which so like which. Still making them difficult to obtain as well, which is good yes. for keeping them as end game content for sure. You also can get tickets from the treasure like, from the treasure list as well. Uh, the tickets that you obtain are used in a special gacha. You can see here the left ones. So you have a single pool, multi pool, which is that. Okay, so I think so. This is obviously the new mode in uh, Treasure Cruise. Now we have TM, and now we also now have Kizna. What are you guys' thoughts on Kizna? Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it to be honest. How insane would it be? You know how like global TM was a little better because we had like bigger boosts or more boosts and stuff like that. What if they made it so that it doesn't take as much time to max Zoro and Sanji? I, I could see that definitely happening because I feel as if that was a lot of the um the feedback that the Japanese players had said yeah. that like it it took way too long to max them. I don't even know if they've. I think they've maxed. Them. I'm fairly sure because I finished. I think it ended in September. So mm. yeah. I think um, I so I think like yeah, I, I feel like there's there's a very much a potential to um for them to shorten it, which would be really cool. But I think the main issue is people were discussing is that the second Kizuna came around. So like it happens if I think it's like a week or so, or like a, a, a month or something along those lines. And then the second Kizuna set came out and they nerfed the rewards. And they made the bosses harder, I'm fairly sure. So uh, harder debuffs, more HP. People okay. obviously, you can still get around it, but they did make it harder and they made the debuffs, debuffs more annoying. Because in the first set of Kizna, people were able to go to about level 70 with just um, Legend Brook and Legend Magellan. Yep. 
<laughs> you could literally you could literally clear the whole thing and then legend fuji as well like really w like worked fantastic for it as well three turn hp cut was amazing um they nerfed it so they made it harder they made legend uh Magellan and Legend Brook a little less um like you couldn't use Dominant. them as easily. Yeah, dominance is the correct word. Um and they nerfed the rewards. So people were able you were able to get so many tablets. I don't know exactly how the nerf worked, but I, I remember that you were able to get a lot of tablets in terms of rewards. A lot. They they nerfed it. I'm not hundred percent sure as to how so I don't want to I just don't want to throw out anything if I'm wrong, but they nerfed it, people were upset. But I think it's justified in terms of nerfing it. Because it was ridiculously easy to get tablets. You could yeah. get and a lot of them at the same time too. And they, they want to keep you playing treasure map and things like that as well. So exactly. if you're just turning Kasuna into your like one stop shop for tablets, it's probably not ideal for them, yeah. which is understandable. Yeah. Like if you were just farming tablets here. Because like, you know, the fact that you're able to get more tablets in Kizuna than a ranking event such as TM. Yeah, exactly. Like, it doesn't really like excuse me, it doesn't really make sense in terms of that. So now, I guess what people are thinking about is, is Global going to get the unnerf version to start off with? Are we going to get the nerf version? Are we going to get a different version? Do you think it's going to stay true to JP? What do you guys think? It'd be nice to find a happy medium. Yeah, that's what I was going to say the same thing. I, I think they'll see how it goes. With, it's like a lot of the stuff that they test in Japan, doesn't like when it comes to Global, gets changed regardless because of how different we play or how, like, yeah. It's for, for, like, for exa a perfect example is... um. When Blitz Battle first came out, um, in Japan, it was literally, like, fight to the death. People were, like, literally uh, cracking the shits over grinding. And then when it came to Global, our very first Blitz Battle, everybody worked together to stay at top, at first place in mm. over all the runs. That, yeah. To the point where they had to change the rules for the next one so that we can't do it again. Yeah. So, I don't know. It could be, it could be yeah. different. Like, I, I, yeah, Happy Medium would like to see, but... I don't know. We'll see. Some things have been better when they come to global, like I said, TM because of boosters. But yep. some things have been like nerfed. Because if you guys remember when uh, uh, Neo NL first came out on, on Japan, there you could drop like a shitload of con candies. Just it's like ten, them. it was plus tens from the from yeah, the right, yeah. just right in the right with plus tens. I think yeah, we got plus we threes. Didn't, we didn't yeah. get that at all, or I don't know if, if it was like I, mean, I think it was plus threes. But yeah, they were able to get plus ten drops, and it was like you could use one buggy captain as well. So like you were able to, you could farm a ridiculous amount of candy from that, yeah, from that event. So I think it's like I, I, I don't know. I think Kizuna is cool. I think it's going to be enjoyable. I just hope like I don't really care that much about the rewards per se. I just hope it doesn't take us six months to to max these units because I want to be able to use them like as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. Off the yeah exactly because they are <laughs> so strong. They're ridiculously powerful for they, the, you know. All right, let's get it. So, treasure map expeditions is something smaller. Um, this is just the auto mode for treasure map. So, I believe it uses your uh, the current stam you have, and then it just farms treasure map for you. It's not good. It doesn't. It's not going to get you a lot of points. However, I guess if you're in those situations where like you're working for like a long period of time and you can't physically play, you can turn it on and it, and it will use your stam and get you a small amount of points. Yeah, or if you're like going for like a two-hour nap, you can chuck it on. Yeah, or maybe if you want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't know how many times it's happened that you're about to go to sleep and you land on a stamina refill. Yeah, oh, so it's, like, yeah. it's a good little like quality of life edition. Like we said, you know, these Bandai live streams have really been about quality of life. So this was on JP as well. So yeah, I think it's really cool that we're finally See, getting. I wasn't aware this. that this was on JP. Yeah, it just wasn't. It, it, no one used it because it's like it is bad. You don't get any yeah. points from what I've heard. You get nothing. So, like, it's not very useful to use all your stam to get like twenty thousand points. It's a nice option. It just like auto, you know. You exactly. Yeah. It. it gives you the option to do chance so, of so. failing. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Um. And okay, so the one of the big updates we're getting can cotton candy removal. That's, oh man, we I popped have off. Been, I popped we off. have been about this for since like the start of the game. So many people have so many, yeah, so many people have so many units that uh they've like messed up candy because they didn't know what candy was or how it worked back in the day. Now there's an opportunity to actually remove it. So we they didn't say for some reason, I don't know if they want to keep it as a surprise or what, but they didn't mention what's going to happen to the removed cotton candies. Now, there's two options, of course. There's It just goes away forever, or you 
keep the cotton candy, which would be... I don't, uh, actually, I don't you think know that what, would happen. That would you know be really you, broken. It could, though, because because you have to... like From, from the screenshots in the actual event, you see that um, the removal is like a, like a skull. The head, oh, yeah, like, it's, it's like, like an a, item. So it, maybe that gets turned into the candy when you use it. So yeah, that's what gain. I thought was going to happen. Yeah, you don't gain I, I, any... Like, it's not like you gain candy. It's still like... If your number stays static, however, we'll be, you trade it, it be, over. Yeah, you're transferring it onto the skull away from the character. I, I still think it's going to be gone forever. That's the most. I don't mind either oh, way. Yeah. Yeah, either way, I'm fine. So I hope it, we're not limited in the number of skulls that we get. If that's, that's the, case, the so issue that I want to like, bring up. Well, what that, about? Oh yeah, what if they're like limited? How are they going to? How are they going to distribute these skulls? Do you think it's going to be a raid? Do you think it's going to be like a Fortnite? Do you think it's going to be Chopper Man missions? Right. Oh, no. Kizuna, Ray Shop, like, what's going to, like, how's it going to be? Because this so, really it, determines so what I, I actually really like it to, help to be how we've got the uh, Socket Tome Island and the, and the Potion Island. If they just add the Cotton Candy Island to that, is, that'd be yeah, really so you, cool. But the way I like see them doing it, though... Five a day. Yeah, but also what, the way I can see them doing it is, like, oh, you get, like, five normal Cotton Candy, and then you get one of the minus, so... Mm, okay. Well, see, now I'm scared as well, because I was just thinking... The the color that they showed was green, which was recovery. Think, yeah, do you oh, think they're going to have three individual removers for colors? They're going to have a universal. I, I, I think it's going to be three individual ones because like, yeah, why would they color? Why would they color the universal one green? It makes <laughs> no sense to do so. They they just bring out recovery because it's the only one people complain about. That's the only about. one people want to remove. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you never know. But I don't know. I, Think about, I, I thought about this the other day. If they can make it so that you can essentially recycle candy forever, think how broken that is. Because you can take yeah. cotton candy from old units that you never use anymore that you once gave attack on candy to and just give it to new units. You can, I mean, you, you can't do that candy. anyway. <laughs> you can just feed the unit. <laughs> feed the, oh, that's, I, feed that's true. But if it's that's, like you want to that's the whale mentality. Though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the complete opposite mentality you should be having. Messed up your Shiro Hoshi, just, just pull a new one. <laughs> pull a new one, feed it through. What's up, man? Now we can. Yeah, but sure she HP an attack. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> All right. So we have the I didn't I don't really know a lot about these ones. I didn't really even think about them too much, but we have the Ray Shop, uh TM and uh the TM shop and the upgrade to the box space. So I believe the Ray Shop and TM shop now have sliders. Yeah, it's yep, really, that's, the, that's the really, box really cool. Yeah, yeah, the box does as well now. Which is yeah, so like I'm just scared there's going to be a point where I just don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to mess up somehow. Slide, <laughs> that, ready for slide that thing to like 250 gems. Hit okay. But like, oh no. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> like, it's like, who, why would you want to expand your box space though at this point? Like, let's be honest. Like with all the stackable stuff. I've, I've got like 600, 600 bloody spare box space. That's true. So the, they already have sliders for uh, um, for potions. And have you yeah. guys ever like when when you want to yes. hit the arrow, you accidentally yes. touch the thing and it goes all the way. You go nine, yeah. nine, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you're about to feed like three hundred large potions. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> it was it was from what I saw in the screenshots, and obviously that's all we have to go off of was like a slightly different looking slider. But uh, we'll have to see, I suppose. Maybe they're gonna update all the sliders. You never know. That would know. be nice. I got fat but, fingers. I'm gonna mess up. All <laughs> my man's got big fingers. Yeah, but, but I think no, it's really think cool because yeah. I've been finding myself buying a lot of uh, attack cotton candy from the Ray Shop as of recently, just because like I'm feed like whenever I pull new units, I'm basically plus two hundred the ones I really want to plus two hundred, and I think I've only got like five hundred attack cotton candy left now. Yeah, and that's after buying some as well. Yeah, so. The slide is cool. It's also cool because, like, for those that maybe need to buy socket, like socket tomes, even though you shouldn't need to buy tomes at all because you can just farm <laughs> them a great deal. But if you are in the situation where you do need to, you know what I just realized? Maybe they have that for evolvers as well. Yeah, it would be mm. for evolvers. That'd as well. be useful though. Like, you just grab ten. You're like, all right, sweet, and they stack. Hold on, it's that's too easy. Kind of- that's gonna eat. well, like it's good. I think all these updates are fantastic. Not so I can buy all my almighty manuals. And work. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, one hit time. And then also one thing that we didn't put in, they said they're gonna update the lag from the title screen into the oh, game. Oh man! Which on Japan was, uh, I believe it was said it was advertised as a server update. They're gonna improve all lag times, and I feel like that's what they're gonna do on uh, global instead okay. of. They, I think they're just gonna call it as the title screen, but all menus on JP were updated in terms of 
uh, lag, and I feel like that's what they're going to do on global as well, which is that's great. Cool. Which is inherently is awesome. Get out of quest faster. Get into the game quicker. Just fantastic all around. Usually stamina faster. Yeah, usually stamp faster. <laughs> But, um, you know? Oh, you know what we do need the the uh, the spinner in TM. We need that to go faster. <laughs> I think need that true. that did get that. I'm fairly sure that got fixed on JP. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> so hopefully this like title screen lag update is actually is just the server update, and we get all that kind of stuff like uh, ironed out, which would which would be awesome regardless. So yeah, I think I think that's the that's everything from the live stream. Um, There's oh, uh, the, there was yeah, there was the filter for um. Yeah. For, oh, the, the special the filters. Yeah, yeah, special. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's good. It's trash. We have the database. Use the database. However, oh, wait, no, I, I, mean... was, I was talking about the, the filter in Extra Island where oh, you can like... Oh, we have the filter in the Extra Island too. Oh my God. Yeah. What? We, we suck. <laughs> we are none of, the, we are none of this right. in the episode plan. We're, we're <laughs> making this up as we go. <laughs> but yeah, the filter in the Extra Island is cool. It's like, you know, it looked bad on the stream because they had some issue where it didn't show all the islands that were available because they obviously had put in specific islands for the, yeah. for the purpose of the stream. But that's going to be beneficial when we have those big events where we have like 15 different raids out at the same time or something like that where you can like no. sp- specify where you want to farm. I do yeah. have to say the uh, the database is great, of course, but if you, if you ever use it on mobile, it fucking sucks ass yeah. trying to look Thank for you. it. Thank you. Thank you. I was that. just about to say that. Yep. Uh, yeah, a flash, also, what, what a flash. Them? Shout out. <laughs> flash. You want to make us a new, oh, make us a new database? We need a new please? Gonna, like, Ooh, we please, need a database bro. app. We need an app. Oh, yes. Yes. Flash, a app. Flash, I would, if, I would if, pay if him you're money. Listening, if you've listened to this point, I will pay you to make this. I we'll will put in, we'll put in some money. We'll get a gun. <laughs> we'll get a go, go, go fund me. Go, go fund me. me. <laughs> hey, hey, Cobb, we've got, a, we've got a mate who actually does uh, app design. Yeah. We'll get the good, great, perfect database up and running. <laughs> what is going to be in the database? <laughs> All my um, shitty some... segways. All of, our, <laughs> all, of, all of our mistakes. <laughs> hey, there no, we we good. We clean. All of our all of our eat glue. You know what? We're gonna define all of our podcast memes in the database. <laughs> we we're gonna have to find an abbreviation for C L A G, and that's what we're gonna be calling the app. <laughs> <laughs> Clag glue boys. Oh, but yeah, shit. and then also the special filters in the box. That's cool as well, but like we said, the database is completely superior. Well, Much see, more I, I've only ever used the database when I'm sitting at my computer. Yeah. Which, yeah. like, when, when I'm out, like, whatever, yeah, say at a family go. function or something, and I'm farming, and I'm like, oh shit, I actually really need something that does this. I can't remember, and I don't want to search the database on my on my phone. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely use the use the uh out the box search. So I okay, think that'll be pretty cool. For sure. Yeah. One hundred percent. There's only, only there's really only two quality of life updates now that I can think of that would be nice, uh, which mm. would be um, selling stacks at a time. Because yeah. I, I don't know about you guys, I have hundreds of some some uh, what are they called skill books that they're just yeah. completely fucking useless. I would love to be able to get rid of those really quick. And shit, I forgot the other one that I was thinking. Of. <laughs> uh, <it'll laughs> selling, selling, selling stacks is always like risky. Yeah, it's risky. And I think it's a little contra- like not controversial is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. I think yeah, all right, risky want- is fine. But it's hard though because sometimes you can be like, you can sell it. Like if you sell a stack of everything, like whoa, like sometimes that can that like that can affect you. Like you know. Yeah. Oh, I want to see stackable cotton candy. Yeah, yep. yeah, that'd be awesome. I've always had like this idea that you can just like if you feed candy to candy, just the number on the candy increases. Yeah, yep. is that too? That'd be cool. So if you start have this, feed one it- to one, it goes to two. Imagine you just have one giant candy and then you just use a slider to how much you want to give to a unit. Oh, with, with oh that's, that's, that's like bro. Cool. That's that'd be it. Awesome. Because that'd then be it would cool. cap out at 100. Because it's yeah. like, oh, you can't feed 2,000 cotton candy to one unit. Yeah, it's just as a max for each unit of 100. Yeah, it's but like a big bowl. So much you faster. can distribute 100 at a time. I'm digging that. Yeah, Man, I, I, agree. I feel awesome. like at, the, at that point, you should just make it so you can feed 100 of each type of candy to a unit. If they were to release that, just say okay, you can feed a hundred attack, recovery, and HP to a to a unit. Like it, at that point, you might as well like have that implement. Yeah, I guess I've got that and much recovery candy it. sitting there ready to go, so I wouldn't <laughs> be excited. <laughs> For sure, and I was also thinking as well, like why instead of having a potion island, why don't they just have an island that gives the units in the team mastery points instead, or both? Like, exactly. Like, you know, instead of us having to only be able to farm 
like TM to to like to get those like to to uh get basically add potions like for free by just farming. Why don't you have the island for your team? You know, give them at least like fifty thousand mastery points when you run the island, and then it drops like five small potions still or whatever it is. Yeah, because like the small that, potions aren't very very good. It's not good. It's just not helpful like at all, which sucks. But like, um. If you just have the island actually be able to, like, you can get them just by playing islands, or maybe even just like playing the game in general, you should be able to get a small amount of mastery points. Because technically, like you're using the unit, so you're quote unquote mastering how to use the unit. So you should be able to just gain a little bit when you use a team to mm. to do so. Like it, it, it would make sense. Yeah, you know, that or also uh, ex- just regular experience. Like you know, in uh, you and I both play Dan Memo, and you know how when you use a unit, you gain experience. You gain experience. You just- yep. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I mean, it won't be slow, but but still though, I feel like just passively being able to level it'll up ha- characters. It'll help be it'll help for the new characters as well. Yeah. You know, passively being able to level up characters, passively being able to level up um level up well, uh, the mastery. Yep. Good. I thought of the thing that I forgot. Um when you go into a Coliseum and you want to make a change to your team, you have to get all the way out of the Coliseum to make <laughs> an edit. And that that's the, it, it didn't used to be that way. There was an update that made that start happening, and it's the worst. And I wish that they would make it so we don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, I think they did that in Japan. They have fixed that in Japan, I think. But I don't, yeah, that's not part of uh, that's not part of this quality of up, life update. But I think uh, it was when they did the server fixes. They also made it so you could back, um, you could back out, and then it would take you to team view. Then you could back out from team view, sorry, and then you would go to the yeah, whatever cool. raid or whatever you were farming. It definitely saved right. a lot of time, for sure. All on, right. On that note, though, before we move on, just uh, like wrap up on on the live stream. The live stream far exceeded my expectations. I don't yes, know about you guys, for sure. But it was, you know, like it definitely something that the, the community has been waiting for for a long. Yeah, not just because of the shout out, just the the quality <laughs> yeah, and the way it was away, presented, yeah. getting the developers on, and um, just yeah, the overall quality of it was really really good. So shout out to you guys for making that happen. I really wanted him to him to use the meme team, man. The fact oh, that he had, he used he used the OP German squad, I, I would have just love to see him run that yeah. meme team. Actually, and we, we we got our gems. Well, yeah, we got we got twenty. <laughs> yeah, we got twenty, which is huge. I, Wasn't it like I think they just gave out ten more, didn't they? I don't yeah. think the other ten was part of the rewards. No, they just it was like a surprise. No, it was, I, I it, was, was... it was ten for watching the live stream, then an extra ten for him beating the dungeon. Oh, and then when they said, yeah. "Oh, he goes, oh, do I, should I do it blindfolded?" I'm like, "Man, I could do that blindfolded." <laughs> yeah, but you you, know you play the game for a living. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, it's sneaky. They ha- they had him use like one of the strongest teams in the game and one of the easiest dungeons in the game because they wanted to show off this pay to play team so that people would you know pull from. Hundred percent. They, they should have done it on something hard just for you know just to be cool. No, nah, but see, that would have been so much yeah. effort. Imagine, he didn't yeah. even stall. Everyone in the chat was yelling at him to stall. He stalled because he kept on attacking. While no, he, was just, he was just going running. for it. Yeah, boy, it was running. We don't slow tapping. down. Yeah, we don't. We keep tapping all six characters, <laughs> even when they got the resilience buff up. But it was good. It was no, good. Yeah, it, was, it was a very, very good live stream. The live stream was fantastic. Um, we need more. Like, uh, like you know, shout outs and rewards aside. I think everyone loves the fact that they get to like put a face to the game, hundred percent. And, and oh, it definitely oh. brings all the community oh. from all branches of the yeah. community together, yeah. which but, is great but, as well. Oh, 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 that's the game for right now. Why the hell could they only post those figures inside America? Like, come <laughs> on, <laughs> that's, that's a know. problem. I, 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 there's got to be some legal uh, uh, reasons. For and that. I think it would cost them a bloody fortune to send it. Like, if they wanted to send it to, to us in Australia, <laughs> it'd cost yeah, them like a hundred dollars <laughs> just for shipping or like that. Yeah. I'll pay. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay the ship. No, why? No, you can just no, buy it online. Yeah, yeah back. I'd rather just buy it I had to run that back. I was confused. No, you guys sign, was... sign it or something and then hit me up. Yeah, yeah. That, that was different. Get Chris to sign it. <laughs> yeah, that, I, was so su- I was so surprised to see we getting a second one so soon because I, the first one was so rare. I didn't think we'd get another one in a few months. I think I'd, I'd love for it to be a regular more, thing. Regular, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah couple, every couple months, every like three months or so. Stay in touch with us. Dan Memo, it's all good stuff. I'm pretty sure Dan Memo does one like every week. 
every every update pretty much which is like every like fortnight they do a live stream that like shows all the new content in the game and all the new characters i don't know if we needed that frequently yeah we don't need that (laughs) but but i feel like the updates that that will seem like less special yeah yeah true which is good yeah all right now to end the podcast we have a question from (laughs) i had his name here somewhere we, uh, run a very, we run a very tight ship here. We do it. We have <laughs> a lot of rats. These, these podcasts happened out of the blue. Out of, uh, out of the blue. Out of the blue. <laughs> We're doing it like four days earlier than we necessarily like. Yeah, we we got, usually do it. We got We're, not doing it. We're not doing it at our normal time either. Yeah. yeah. To Job is up at 3 a.m. his time. It's 4 a.m. now. <laughs> now it's 4 a.m. I'm trying to eat dinner at some point in my life. I'm, yeah, I'm, we'll, I'm, we'll I'm, literally, I'm literally hiding in a closet to make He's less noise. He's in the closet right now. He's in the closet. <laughs> Tell him yeah, to get out was, of there. <laughs> there was so much <laughs> stuff. We just had to get it out. <laughs> but we want to keep it as... As uh, regular as like regular as possible and every it's, fortnight. And you it's know. really hard because uh, Cobby, Toadski, and I have PAX this weekend, so we're going to be gonna there. Go so if fun. any guys are from Australia and you're going to PAX, uh, keep an eye out because we'll be posting on Twitter. Keep an eye out. And yeah, come get a photo with Toadski or something like that. Yeah, not 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 <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh, Cobby, uh, 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 the side. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you can recognize uh, Cobby and I, go for it. But I might, I might hold the camera. <laughs> yeah. I'll be behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, if, if we if we did face cams, we'd be the ones that would be getting recognized. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're better looking than Todd. We'll just <laughs> oh. anyway. Question time. <laughs> so the question is from Meta Nightmare X Two. I don't know if that's the name. I hope it is because that's what uh, Anchor came up with. That's um, a cool name. So thank you so much for the question. We're going to play the question now. What are your future batch ideas for the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise? As in the leaders, what they'll do, and if they're a double captain or not, and how do you think they'll affect the future of OPTC and change the concurrent player base as it is now? Oh yeah, it's an audio question. Yes. So with that audio question I just played, Hopefully it sounded all right, but we broke down the question just to like make it a little bit um, easier for us because we are all dumb. We said, "Oh wait, <laughs> we said." Did I interrupt it? Because it, it didn't play no, for me. So I guess I'm it's gonna. Only... I'm, it's not playing. <laughs> I'm gonna cut oh. it in. <laughs> oh no! We no, broke sorry, the fourth I... wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hate did, it. I, did I totally just talk over the question? I'm sorry. Here, play it again. I don't no. want to interrupt. This. No, no. It's <laughs> getting edited in post. <laughs> It's like <laughs> you post, you clown, you absolute oh clown. God. It's four in the morning. Yeah, that's understandable. understandable. He's in, in the, the closet. closet. It's four in the morning. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the question that like was said earlier <laughs> is, what is a future batch you would like to see in OPTC? Who is the captain slash what do they do? I'm going to hand this over to Cobb because he, he worked on this. We all just Man, like we was, didn't do we anything. We were grinding. We were grinding. It was like five minutes before the podcast. I mean, uh, we uh, this was done a week ago. All right, Cobb, take it away. Uh, we're going to try <laughs> really, really hard here to be avoiding manga spoilers as much as possible. Our sort of line read that we're the drawing, manga. Read, read the manga. manga. Yeah, number one, read the manga. What is wrong with you? You are missing out. <laughs> you know what? We're going to spoil two. the manga next time. Yeah, we're just going to do it. You know what? Yeah. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. Like, we, we might do manga chapter reviews. We're gonna we, we'll name some names, but we won't go in depth, all right? Because uh, the anime is sort of our limit. Where the anime is up to is fair game. If you, if you're behind in the yeah. anime, what are you doing? Catch up. Hurry up. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. All right, we are taking our batch to Wano. All right. Ooh. Ooh. So we are getting into some slasher boys, as you know, Wano. We're all about the swords. So we have got a dual legend, the Kinemon and Kanjiro. Nice, All right, nice. we've been cooking this one up in the lab. I don't know if it's any good, but we will find out. Kondro is a, a yeah, strength we, unit. We were quick. We were quick. Kondro is so not the strength unit. Kinemon is a We've got a slasher free spirit, and Kondro is our quick unit, slasher and striker. Kondro right? quick is dope. I don't know why. It just look, dope. I need to look cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Dill for that one. Yes. All right, swap effect. And this second bit of the swap effect is going to be leading into some uh, content we've theorized. We thought of this. content as well. I know. We, we went above and beyond. We did this in five minutes. We did this in five minutes. 
All right, <laughs> swap effect. Every time you swap between Kinemon and Kanjuro, it changes your own orb to matching. Reduces your attack down debuff by two turns. And for two turns, your crew members cannot be blown away. Ooh. All right. Special ability. Uh, for three turns, you will become Kinemon and Kanjuro, of course, as all dual, dual legends do. And for two turns, slashes will have no type weaknesses. All right. If you're if you've got a strength unit hitting into a quick, it's neutral. You're all good to go. No weaknesses here. And it will also boost your slasher character's color affinity by two times for two turns. So it's banging mm. unit. Banging unit. We're doing plenty. All we'll right. Get into, have... we'll, yeah, we'll Is delve into the unit unit as to why we pick these specific traits as well once we're done. And some of them, to be fair, are unrealistic, but we, we're theorizing here. We got, we got a bit of leeway here. Exactly. So, uh, Captain Effect, and we've only done the Dual Legend Captain Effect because we didn't have time for that. What are you doing? Yeah, what do you think we're doing? Right. We're doing nothing. Boost, boost slash a character's attack by 3.5 and HP by 1.35. Makes tandem orbs count as matching and will also boost the chance of landing on tandem orbs. And if your crew has one of every single type on the team, you will boost your chain multiplier by 1.5. Nice. That is the Ooh. dual legend captain effect. All right, doing plenty. And now, moving on, why did we make the tandem orbs matching? And why, why? did we chance why of landing on them? We're we bringing it? back tandem attacks. Tandem attacks are coming back in OPTC. Oh, you heard it here first. DGP exclusive news. <laughs> now, as far <laughs> as I understand, technically it's illegal. All right, you can't have your recruits having tandem attacks. <laughs> Unfair. Oh. It's Hold legal on. now. We made it legal. Hold on, though. It's only illegal in Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is your global exclusive. It's uh, exclusive. <laughs> never going to Japan. But uh, yeah, we do we do have a tandem attack on this unit. But uh, avoiding avoiding manga spoilers, we won't go too far in depth with it. Yes. Uh, so the batch. We were also asked to come up with a batch. We didn't do any captain effects or special abilities, anything like that. And if you are scared of manga spoilers, there will be some names here. I'm not going to tell you anything more than names. So Just if you name, are scared, yep. you can skip past this little bit. Yep. But we have Dex Shutenmaru, Int Okiku, Sai Kawamatsu, and Strength Rizo. They are your batch units. Yes, rounding so off will work. our 1 0 batch of slashes. Strength Rizo. And, uh, and so what are, what are these? Um, what are these? What is this batch good for, Cobb? Ah, us. Cobb, tell us. What is this batch good for? Slashing. Specifically, <laughs> we're going to be slashing in the brand new Ooh. Yokozuna Urashima Coliseum. Damn, we Ooh. made a Coliseum too. What's up? And Let anyone, him know what he does. Let him know what he does. Uh, he blows you away, but <laughs> you know who doesn't get blown away? Let him know. Kinemon and Kanjuru's crew. Yeah. I don't get brilliant. blown Swap away. Effect. And if anyone's wondering who Urashima is, he's that big fat uh, that dude with the guy. That Luffy, Luffy Mac body. <laughs> Second Luffy Mac Mac and Boulder Booze. <laughs> and Kiku, Kiku cut off his top knot, so, you know, we have relevancy to the anime. We have, you know, it makes sense. It all works out. So, <laughs> Urashima, you know, he he's preemptive. Oh, not even preemptive, was it? It was, he no, gives you a... No, it was, it was preemptive, Fortune. and then, after yeah. death yeah. of no, yeah, so, so, no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, no, it was... So his his preemptive was um he gives you four turns of attack down. Yeah. And then once he revives, he blows away two two random units from your crew. Yep. Yeah, that works. Yep. So if you use two swaps, you get four turns of attack down, so that's gone. Use all their specials, you kill uh you you, you kill him, and then uh because Try you use the swap, uh he tries to blow away your units, you're set. You know, and then you can just finish him off. Easy money. Okay. And then you cut him up with the Kiku. Oh, let him know. Clean. Maybe man. that's it. I think that's a banging batch, banging units. By the way, yeah, if I see any of yeah. those mechanics in the game, I that's us. That's on us. You remember? Yeah, that you is remember, on us. You remember this episode? You want to see? Mean, no no weakness. Weakness. That's us. If that happens, I'm upset. <laughs> if they We're make soon. it, he's like, tandem attacks are coming back. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I think we did a good job. I think that's a pretty good batch right there. And we also gave you a little bit of relevancy and some content as well. How about that? That's bang for your buck. <laughs> Only here on the GGP podcast. That's it. Let them know. All right. Take us home, puppy. Take us home. Okay. Sweet as. So that has been episode four of Good Great Perfect. Uh, thanks to all my co-hosts for being a part of episode four. 
Uh, shout out to Nightmare. He's working his he's working his magic. He's trying to get out of the Shadow Realm. You know, trying to use that monster, <laughs> trying to use that monster reborn. He we have a hint. He might be back for Ep Five. Boy, you know, take that with Whoa. a grain of salt. That's with a, that's with like a, that's with a kilo of salt. You know, he might be. <laughs> hopefully, he does come back. I know Wait. people in the comments are always clanning on Nightmare. We, we, want, him, we want him back episode. as well. We want him. We, back. Do, we, want, we want him to appear on the app for once. Puppy, I want you to explain what a kilo is because I'm American. Oh my god, it's like <laughs> 0. 0.6 pounds or something like that. Right. No, I'm looking that up. So I might be a clown. I don't want to. I don't want to be considered a clown. I think, dude. It, I think 1. 6, uh, 1. 6, yeah. 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 All right. Nevertheless. Uh, shout out to Todd as well. Uh, it's 2.2 pounds. There you go. Now we all know the conversion. <laughs> oh, <that was> right. <laughs> shout out to Todd. That boy's grinding uni. He's got a lot of things to do. I do as well, but I'm the host. It's my podcast. What's up, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, this man's dedicated. Yeah, that's it. Um, make sure you follow the podcast everywhere. We're on YouTube. Subscribe. If you're watching the podcast, you're not subscribing. What are you doing? You're a clown. Just hit hit that, that subscribe button. Get hit that, that like button. Out of your mouth. Yeah, get that clag out yeah. of your mouth. Um, leave questions in the comment section of the YouTube video. Leave questions on Twitter. You can find us on Twitter at GG, uh, GGP Podcast. Uh, follow us there as well. We'll update you in terms of when the podcasts are being released and asking for questions. Just add us if you have any questions. It doesn't have to be OpenTC related. It can be anything you want. Um, also... Follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all those other ones as well. Keep us going on Anchor. And that's it. You guys have anything else to say? Uh, no. I'm going to go to bed. Just uh, thanks for listening. And uh, we're going to go have dinner. We're going to have dinner. All right. We'll catch you all next time. See you guys. See you. Peace. Bye.